Hey everybody, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. I am having a blast doing these isolated vocal tracks. It's incredible. There's all so many things I never knew about these artists, so many different little nuances and approaches and just getting to break all this stuff down and hear exactly the original vocals isolated all by itself is just pretty incredible if you ask me. Um, before we get started, if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Uh, I have a singing course. It is called How to Sing better than anyone else. You can find it right here at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com and I also have a free singing form over there. So if you guys are interested in learning how to sing, zip on over there. It's free. You can check it out. There's over 20,000 people in there and some really good moderators to help you guys with your singing voice. Okay. Now I'm getting ready to do Morton Harkett. Um, the song is called Take On Me and the band is AHA. And uh, I did a version of this myself. So I will put that in the description so you can see how I did. But it was one of those songs where the video was just so good, the song couldn't possibly fail, right? Uh, and everybody loved the story book, going, you know, her being in the story, looking at the book, and then being sucked in by a lover, and you know, we've kind of all been there, kind of dream off of that, wow, what happened to the cartoon, and just the whole thing was very, very, very creative. So I want to go ahead and just dive right into it. Now, um, I want to say something about this. A lot of people rate this as being a really, really difficult song to sing, and there are parts that aren't, parts that aren't, and I want to discuss the vocal aspects of it along the way. So I'm going to do a a vocal analysis and a little bit of a vocal tutorial so we can talk about how Morton got to some of these places uh, with his voice. All right, let's dive right in. Here we go. <laughs> By the way, I never knew that was a <laughs> dude. <laughs> so he's just kind of getting warmed up, right? <laughs> let's hear that again. Check it out. <laughs> it's fun. I'm talking away. No, I don't know what. To say, I'll say it anyway. So he's real easy on his own. Talking away, I don't know what I'm to say, I'll say it anyway. Right? So he's not pulling up really much chest in any of the sound at all. He's, he's, he's you know, using a lot of uh, lower chest voice and not a lot of falsetto, a lot of head voice stuff. So kind of start out there, right? So he's real easy on it. He's very snappy and real, you know, poppy and peppy on his voice, vocals, which is cool. We just came off of doing Michael Jackson, um, and so I'm not sure when these will release, but there's uh, like a similarity kind of in the phrase. Huh? in the phrasing, right, which is interesting. Today is another day to find you shying away. <laughs> oh, I'll be coming for your love, okay? Yeah. Uh, 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 I'll be coming for your love, okay? I didn't really know all that stuff was in there, but so let's back this up. This is actually pretty easy to say. Check it out. Anyway, today is another day to, to find you shying away. Shying away. Just do this. Today is another day to find you. Shying away. Now, what's also interesting, kind of we talked a lot about Michael Jackson in the same way. Um, Michael kind of doesn't have a lot of consistency, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but he's, he deliberately doesn't hold notes and have the volume be identical. Shying away. Another day to find you. There's a lot of ebb and flow. Shying away. I'm gonna hate to find you, right? Kind of like crooners, hey, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's kind of funny. I feel, uh, I feel uh, my time, right? So there's kind of like a, like some crooner stuff in there. Uh, but anyway, so it's got that vibe, vibe about it. Let's back up. <laughs> oh, I'll be coming for your love, okay? Take on Now do that with me. Take on me. Take me on. Right? So that's kind of the extent of his of his his belting stuff. Now I don't I know he does another note later. We'll talk more about that in a second. Take on soft on that guys. I'll be gone in a day or two. Right? So it's not as hard as you might think. Now some people says, oh man, I could never get to the end note. Well, don't sing the part before it's so hard and you can free yourself up in the throat to be able to get to that. So let's do that. Let's do a takedown of this one more time. Check it out. 
Finally, me back up more. Find you shine away. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I'll be coming for your love. Okay. okay. Take on me. Take on me. Take me on. Take on me. I'll be gone. Right. So now he's back real gentle. So needless to say. And you gotta get his, I think he's from Norway or Sweden. I forgot, he's, I know he's Norwegian. Um, you gotta have that kind of accent. I don't have it, but he's got the things are kind of closed down a little bit when he sings. So, so needless to say. I have a thong long, all today I'll say it anyway. So it's almost kind of like a Swedish or Norwegian guy with a British accent. <laughs> you know, they're kind of combining the two together. I'm telling you straight up, it's kind of what it's like. So needless to say. I'm all the sentence, but I'll be stumbling away. Slowly learning that life is okay. Say after me. Oh, it's no better to be safe than sorry. Okay, so it's a really pop, you know, so needless to say. Odds and ends are today. Oh, 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 so needless to say. Odds and ends are okay. Right, okay. You kind of hear kind of a little bit of a British accent with an Norwegian guy singing it. So I think that's kind of interesting. Let's go to the next chorus. Take so do this with me, guys. Take on me. Right, he doesn't even use much vibrato at all there, right? And he's real easy. Take me on. He's real me on. He's not using a lot of strength in this sound, right? No, I'll, I'll, I'll be. Right, he's in full on falsetto. So do it with me. I'll is in chest. I'll be gone. And then this is all falsetto still. So do it with me. In a day or two. Right? It's kind of like a foghorn. Right? And it's not that hard to get to that note. I don't know what that note is here. Let's check it out real quick. I forget now. In fact, in my version, um, it's an E. So in my version, I go higher at the end, and he does do one belted chest voice note coming up and I'll show it to you as we do this but so let's continue to play here we go now one of the things that gives this so much power uh, and it sounds like he's got so much power in the sound is he's got all those background calls ah, ah, that are really loud in the track, so it holds up his falsetto voice to make the falsetto sound a lot bigger. And he also uses a ton of reverb and delay in the original version. When you go back and really listen to it, it's back in the mix and there's a gob of reverb on it. So it makes it sound really big and robust. I'm not, again, taking away from his, how cool the song is, but don't be deceived. It's not like, ah! and he's not like killing it, it's just, you know, it's got a lot of reverb on it, it's well placed, and it's just soaking and, and just rumbling in all this reverb. So, anyway, let's continue. Oh, I think this is. Oh, things that you say, yeah, is it life Oh, things that you say, oh, I don't say, oh, yeah, right? You're kind of like, you know, this real ebb and flow, almost like, you know, again, I don't think of it like early crooner, but if you listen to Harry Connick Jr. or something, or Frank Sinatra, hey, oh, things that you say, um, uh, right? So there's some crooner aspect to it. You could almost, this is going to be a weird comment, you ready, guys? I always make these weird comments, and then you kind of see, hey, maybe, the, maybe Ken's right, it kind of works that way. But there's kind of like a little bit of David Bowie in there a little bit, right? Um, you know, ho, 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 you know, right? So um, you can, modern love walks on by me, modern love walks on time. You know, you can really hear kind of some almost David Bowie influence in some of the crooner aspects of the way he's treating his voice and then with a lot of falsetto. Just to my worries away, 
You're all the things I've got to remember. You're shying away. Shying away. Right. Well, I'll be coming Very for British. you anyway. Take on me. Take on me. Take me. Now on this one. So he's kind of in a mixed voice. He just go, gone! He's not like killing it on gone. He's gone! He's got a mixed voice in there. Listen really closely. I thought it was actually full chest. I've never heard this. This is You guys were hearing this for the first time together. So um, I thought he had, he belted that note, but he doesn't. He's mixing it. Listen close. On gone. Cause you, gone. you can hear him trail off with some mixed voice in the background, right? Now I, yeah, I do that in my version. I go and I even go higher than that at the end. You can check out my version. You might like it. Um, again, he has a very special. A character voice that I I wouldn't try to match exactly because it's just not the way I sing. So I tried to get as much of the nuance of his sound as best as I could. I still wanted to sound like me, and like I always try to do um, is I try to take someone's original version and instead of singing it exactly the same way at the end, I always kind of ratchet it up a notch or two to give the audience a little bit something more to go home with rather than sounding just exactly like it. So hopefully, you guys, like what you heard, and definitely check out my next video.